Hey, Aaron here, Product Manager for AI Experiences in Visual Studio Family. Today, we'll get GitHub Copilot installed and activated in Visual Studio 2022. This is the functionality that generates up to an entire function of code at once with the help of your code context and your IntelliSense list selection. And it also can help convert your natural language intent into code. There's a 30-day free trial available if you don't already have this. And if you're looking for the GitHub Copilot chat functionality, I'll leave a link to that in the comment section below as well. Here we are in Visual Studio 2022. To get the latest version of the GitHub Copilot extension, we will need version 17.5.5 or above of Visual Studio. So let's click Help about Microsoft Visual Studio. And we can see here that we have 17.6.4, which is newer than 17.5.5. So we're good to go. I'm going to click OK. Extensions, Manage Extensions. And I'm going to search for GitHub Copilot. Here we see that we have GitHub Copilot. So let's click Download. Reading this yellow notice, we are going to have to restart Visual Studio to install this extension. So let's do just that by clicking close and the X button. The V6 installer appears to help install this extension. And we're going to click modify to continue with the installation. Now that this is done, we can click close and reopen Visual Studio. We'll click any solution here. And now we see a yellow bar telling us that to enable GitHub Copilot, we need to add our GitHub account to Visual Studio. I can either click Add GitHub Account on this yellow bar, or in the bottom left corner, I can click the Copilot icon, and there's the option to add GitHub Account here as well. So let's click Add GitHub Account, which takes us to this page. So we'll click Add GitHub. This will open the web browser. And here we see the standard OAuth page asking us to authorize Visual Studio to use and access my GitHub account. So I'm going to click Authorize GitHub. This is a success. So let's go back to Visual Studio. We now see my GitHub account listed under all accounts. We'll click close. So as I type here, we can see that GitHub Copilot is interpreting my code context along with my IntelliSense list selection to help offer predictions. We can see that my IntelliSense list selection actually steers the model to just the prediction that I'm looking for. This is another way that you can explore the various predictions available to you. I'll hit tab to accept the IntelliSense list member and tab again to accept the rest of the prediction. The other thing that Copilot can help with is converting natural language code comments into business logic and functions. So let's define the function that I'm looking for. We'll hit enter and see what Copilot gives us. Here we see an entire function, but you can also use this functionality within a function or any scope where you're looking for assistance from Copilot your AI pair programmer.